Okay, Tony, I found this thing um, just totally randomly, so I thought I'd show it to you real quick. All right, your dashboard or whatever is F4 on your keyboard, so you, I press that, we get our dashboard, and um, what I noticed, these right here weren't on there at all, the Google and the ESPN football. I just put those on there and this yellow sticky pad. Down here in the left corner is a little plus sign. When I press that, here's the widgets that I'm allowed to put on my dashboard. And so I put ESPN, football, and I also put Google, which is a little search up here. And there's obviously a bunch of others. Then there's a little arrow, and it takes you to your second pages of widgets, right? But then, check this out. If you go to this one, the very first one that says widgets, and click on that, It'll have all your widgets that are on your computer. Plus, if you click more widgets, it'll take you to the web page where you can actually search for probably thousands of custom widgets. Look at this. You got up here at the top, you got your top widgets, top 10 widgets. Then you got down here staff picks. And all these widgets you can put on your dashboard. You could probably just download them right here. So, um,. I thought that was pretty interesting. And also, if I go back to my dashboard here, um, when you click on the plus, that now allows you to actually delete these widgets. So if I don't want Google, I can get rid of it like that and get rid of the ESPN and get rid of my sticky pad there. And then I can always add them back. For ESPN, notice how it gave me football scores and news. But if I want to change that, go to the little I right here, click that, and then I can make it for college basketball. Done. Now all the news that comes up is college basketball. If I want to have both sports, probably the better thing to do is to put two widgets up. So now i got two widgets. I can go to uh, I and then do football or college football. Now I have one for basketball and one for football. So hopefully that was... Uh, that was informative for you.